Hello there everyone, this is Brother Birch. In this video I'm going to be walking through the test 2.3, this guy right here, the practice test, uh, powers of two. I'm just kind of doing it start to finish. So, write a program to prompt the user for how many powers of two to display. Next, the program will display the powers of two in an easily readable table. That's pretty sweet. Note that there's a tab before the first column and before the second column. All right, so we get to copy our template, or this template, I guess. So let's open this up. I'm going to say copy, paste, whoops, test two, practice three.cpp. Too many arguments. Whoops. Copy. Okay. And then Emacs, test two, practice three. Here we go. All right. Same as always, make sure to update all of this stuff. So I'd say like test uh, three. And then, what do we have? Oh, powers of two, that's what it was. Powers of two, and then update the header here. That wouldn't be good. And then your name. Okay, I'll worry about the summary later. All right, so I'm gonna split my screen here so I can see everything easily. First things first. Include IO stream using namespace. That's nice that these are here for us. Okay, um, I'm going to start off with main in here. So let's go ahead and update this description. So main will prompt for powers of two and display results. Okay, so let's see int number equals prompt for number. Okay, let's have a function called prompt for number. I'm just going to copy this and paste. And in this function, prompt for numbers. Uh, we are going to uh, get int from user for program. So in here, let's go ahead and say int number and then see out. Let's copy this guy right here. Paste cn number and then we're going to return number. Okay, so there's our prompt for number function. So we have our number ready to go. Next thing we need to display the results. So I'll just call display powers. We'll pass in however many numbers we're going to display. And now I'm going to copy this function, head up here, and paste. Okay. This one will be void display powers. Whoops. Int number. Okay. Display powers will print columns for user. Okay, that is a big old error. Void display powers. Okay. In here, we're just going to have a return. All right. So, inside of display power, main should be good to go. All right, it'll just act as kind of the driver for our program get the prompt or prompt for the number and then display the powers. We have prompt for number, which should be good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and just compile this real quick just to make sure that we're in a good, a good place. Okay, it compiled just fine. So let's finish this up. So inside of display powers, we're gonna say int power equals one. And then we're gonna loop through all of these. So I'm gonna say four int exponent equals zero, uh, exponent is less than number, exponent plus plus. Okay, and then in here I'm going to say C out, it said we needed a tab, two to the power of uh, exponent, whatever we're looping through at, then we said we needed another tab, 
and then power, um, and then end line. Okay, so power starts off at 1. So 2 to the power of 0 is going to be 1. Okay, and then we're going to have to increment our power. So power times equals 2 every time we go up. So next time, when exponent is 1, it'll be 2 to the first, which will be 2. Um, and I think that should do it for us. Um, so I'm going to hit save on that, and let's run it. Make sure it compiles, a dot out, how many powers of 2 will do 5, and that looks pretty good. Okay, let's do it just for kicks. Um, let's go again, let's do like 100. Oh, that didn't work very well. Must have gotten too big. <laughs> All right, we'll clear that out. Let's run our test bed. I guess we'll worry about that if test bed wants us to run something that high. Practice 23, and then test 2, practice 3. Okay, so passed all the tests with no errors. Uh, if I found, which we just did, that, you know, there are values that wouldn't be valid, you know, we might we might want to add some error checking in there, but as long as you're passing uh, test bed, you're good to go. So style checker, test 2, practice 3. Uh, looks like our style checker is good. Okay, so that is my walkthrough of this practice test. I hope that it was helpful for you, and uh, I hope that you have a great day. Thanks.